Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, saya Cikgu Fazli Bayu Sensei. Jangan lupa subscribe channel saya. Okey, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, welcome back to my class. Uh, my name is Cikgu Fazli Bayu Sensei. Okey, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Okey. Uh, so uh, this time uh, I will teach you about uh, bone muscle tendon and joint. Okay, uh, so during this PKP phase two, keep study and score A plus biology. Okay, whatever happened at the outside, uh, keep calm, study biology and score in your coming SPM. Okay, uh, so this time I will cover uh, the part about bone, muscle, tendon, and joint. Okay, so okay before uh, I start the lesson, make please make sure you download uh, the notes that I provide in the description of this video. Okay, the first uh, learning outcome is uh, to label the bones, the skeletal muscle, and tendons in a diagram of the arm. So to make sure you know which one is bone, which one is skeletal muscle, and which one is uh, tendons. Okay, second learning outcomes is to explain how movement is brought about in a limb. So example of the limb is we will use the movement of arms. Okay. What happened to the arms? Okay, what happened to what? Uh, how the movement is brought by strengthen and bending of our arm. Number three, okay, the third learning outcome is to state the function of cartilage and synovial fluid at joint. Okay, so there are three things you will learn in this uh, part. Okay, uh, so uh, movement is caused by contraction of skeletal muscle which interact with the bone. So when the bone alone, no movement can be carried out. So uh, bone only provide the surface for attachment of muscle and Contraction of muscle will provide the energy, the force to move the bone. Okay, so muscle cells will contract in response to stimulation which carried by nerve impulses. And then the muscles are attached to the bones by tendons near a joint. So, uh, muscle will interact with the bone with the head of the tendons uh, so our first limb outcome is to label uh, the bones and the skeletal muscle and also the tendons in a diagram of the arm from the diagram should uh, can you name uh, the structure that label with P Q R S and T Okay, so in this uh, our first learning outcomes, you need to identify the parts that label in the diagram. Okay, have you done? What is P? What is Q? R, S, and T. Okay, good. So P is ligament, Q is biceps, R is tendons, S is scapula, and T is tricep. Okay, very good. Okay, for those who answer all correct, you are awesome. Okay, now, try with this diagram. What is A? What is B? And what is C? What is A? A is a bow. Okay, B? B is tendon. Okay, and C? C is muscle. Okay, how did you know? 
A is bone, B is tendon, C is muscle. Let's introduce the tendon first. Okay, what is tendon? Tendon is a very strong, inelastic, non-stretchable collagen fibers. Okay, and it is appear as glistening silver gray strands between the muscle and the bone. Okay, and the function of tendon is to ensure that the force produced by the contraction of muscles is transmitted to the part of the body to be moved. That's why the tendon has inelastic and non-stretchable collagen fibers. Okay, what will happen if the tendon has elastic and stretchable? What happen? What will happen? Okay, if tendon has the characteristic of elastic and stretchable, it's like a rubber band. Okay, it's like a rubber band. So the force that transmitted from the muscle to the bone will not pass to the bone, but absorbed by the tendon. So the tendon will stretch. Okay, so energy or a force will be uh, absorbed by the tendon, not transmitted to the bone. So when we want to move our arms, okay, so it will take a long time for the arm to bend because the tendon will absorb first. So the guys it will stretch, stretch, and then just like a rubber band, we pull the rubber band, and then we release. What happened? Okay, so our arm will instantly bend like this like this okay so with the inelastic and non stretchable features characteristic so when the muscle contract the force will be transferred directly to the bone so we can bend and straight our arm slowly okay not instant like this Okay. okay, structure number two is ligament. What is ligament? Ligaments are tough and strong connective tissues with elastic characteristics. Different with the tendon. The tendon is inelastic. Ligament is elastic. Why? Okay, tendons connected muscle to the bone ligaments connect bone to the bone okay same tissues bone bone tendon different tissues bone to the muscle bone to the muscle okay the function of ligament is to allow movement of bones at a joint so we can move our bone at the joint okay and also, it will preventing dislocation. Okay, to make sure our bone at the right position. No dislocate. Okay, so can you see the diagram of a uh, human knee? Okay, there are ligament. Okay, ligament that cover the knee. Okay, so. When ligament attach bone to bone, it will form a joint. Okay, what is joint? Joint is formed where two or more bones help together by the ligament. So, for example, our elbow. Okay, so humerus. Okay, radius, ulna, and humerus. Okay, radius and humerus connected with the ligament so elbow is a joint so between these two bone 
connected with Lee Gaiman. Okay, uh, so joint have three types. We have three types of joint. Uh, the first one is immovable joint or fixed joint. Okay, for example, such a. Okay, uh, the characteristic of uh, immovable or fixed joint is bone held together by fibrous connective tissues. No movement between bones. So in this type of joint, immovable. So the joint cannot be moved. For example, skull and pelvic girdle. Okay, the function is to protect delicate tissue like brain and sense organ, and also to protect urogenital organ for pelvic girdle. Okay, type number two is partially movable. Okay, so this type of partially movable joint, the characteristic is they have cartilage bridge at the joints, and the movement is restricted. Can be moved but restricted. Move in a sort of uh, degree only. Okay, for example, vertebra column. So vertebra column, we can move from side to the side, front to the back. Okay. So function is to uh, have some degree of flexibility, and also the cartilage. Cartilage disc between the vertebra act as a shock absorber and cushion for the joint to reduce friction. Type number three is movable joint or synovial joint. Okay, so movable joint or synovial joint can be divided into two types: hinge joint and ball and socket joint. Okay, so the characteristic of uh, movable joints ends of the articulating bones are covered with the cartilage okay and joints are enclosed by joint capsule and it is lined with a thin synovial membrane which is secrete synovial fluid so you can refer to the diagram after this okay for example for the hinge joint we have knee uh, our elbow and also finger joint okay the function is to allow movement in one plane so we can move the bone only in one plane we cannot rotate the bone here okay okay ball and socket joint for example shoulder and hip joint so our shoulder can be moved in all plane 360 degree so we can move like this okay we can move like this all plane can be moved and some rotational movement okay so this diagram shows the hinge joint at our elbow and also uh, on our palm okay our finger joint Okay, so at each joint, there are ligaments cover the bone to connect bone to bone. Okay, let's make a comparison between tendons and ligaments. Okay, so the similarities of tendon and ligaments. The similarities of tendon and ligaments. Uh, the first one is both tendon and ligaments are made up of collagen fibers. Okay, and both tendon and ligament hold two types of tissues together okay the differences of tendon and ligaments okay tendon holds bone and muscle but ligaments hold bones and bones okay and then tendon has no elastin tissues that's why it is inelastic okay and then ligament has elastin tissues which is cause the ligament to become elastic okay if you have any question you can write at the comment okay and also don't forget to answer the quiz to test yourself okay uh, i think that's all for today don't forget to subscribe and share my video to your friends okay so uh, i can uh, make more videos
for biology. Okay, all the best. Enjoy your PKP holidays. And thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.